from the Pirates of the Caribbean to Downton Abbey, our next guest is a star of both the small screen and the silver screen. Well, Kevin McNally's latest role is playing TV presenter James Hollis in ITV's Unforgotten. It's been called the best detective drama of the decade. Being a TV presenter, that must be an extraordinary intellectual challenge for you. <laughs> really, is. I've been watching you guys Have for you? a while. Yeah. Have Is you? it based on anyone you might know? <laughs> no, I, no, but I did start watching people because there are certain mannerisms people have. I mean, I just... I, what I can't TV believe... presenters have? What do we do? <clears throat> well, it's... Do I don't we know, preen? There's, there's a lot of this goes on. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> so, but I, I just think the concentration required is, is extraordinary. Um, and, and it's very different from acting. And I just... I can see there's lots of things going on in your mind. You know, you hear it. Mm. You're getting lots of information. So it was, it was a really interesting bit of research. Kevin McNally, thanks for yep. coming in. Thanks yeah, very cheers. much. <laughs> That's, really That's all we needed to know. Uh, that's it from Good Morning Britain. <laughs> <laughs> and here's Alex with the weather. Yeah. Oh, 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 my God. Don't be too good. Don't be too good. You can stay. <laughs> well, I did think, I thought, if I do this, these scenes really well, I could have another career going Yes, on. that's a good point. I don't like the hours. Really? Yeah, well, this these getting hours up early in the morning is these terrible, yeah. It's such a great role, and for you, there's a great group of chums at the core of it yeah. who you genuinely know, genuinely know really well. I know. When I read the script and it was about four old geezers, I thought, I wonder who's playing them, and it's uh, Neil, Mar Neil Morrissey, um, James Feet and Alex Jennings, and I've known them for, you know, 30 years. It was a review of the show, and I thought, oh, great, I'll see how it goes. And uh, they were describing each of the characters as they came in, and then it got to me and it said... And, and it's funny that I can remember this word by word, isn't it? <laughs> do you know, I think it... we might have it. So oh, oh, OK. You do it, it and we'll look at it. There here we are. go, here we go. And then there's this from the Daily Mail review uh, of last night's Unforgotten. Finally, we meet Kevin McNally, an actor whose face has more pockets and pouches than Bear Grylls's camouflage trousers. Oh. oh. I mean, what a baroque How... criticism that is. It's extraordinary. There's one word for oh, it. Oh, hold on, criticism. I've just found a torch in one of my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, we met Bear Grylls. He frequently has maggots in his yes, pocket. Yes, he did. So oh, he carries all sorts around the show. show. He does. So, uh, do you does worry about things like that? Well, mainly to try and get people to eat them, I think, if they need a snack. Oh, dear. Yeah, I know. I wouldn't I recommend know. it. Yeah, it's not your cup of tea at all. No. Now, you're one of the few people that has the, has the fun, I'm guessing, maybe the honour, of having Johnny Depp thrown a bucket of water over you. Yes, uh, several times, actually. He's thrown two buckets of water... Well, two scenes. Um, probably Johnny's thrown about... 40 buckets of water over wow. my, in my life. <laughs> this Usually, is in Pirates of the Caribbean, of course, by the way. Yes, we must wonder. explain this. <laughs> it's not a thing that we have. Not it's, just in life. But if I, I mean, I haven't spoken to him of late, but if I know Johnny, he'll be very resilient and he'll, mm. you know, he'll get mm. through it. Because we saw this, do. there's a picture of him recently, I think he was posing with a fan or something, and there was a lot of concern, wasn't there, about his appearance, about how he was looking. Yeah, but, you know, that's the only picture where he, I, where he looks mm. that skinny. He looks great in the other ones. Um, but, I, you know, I, I imagine he's lo losing a bit of weight for a role. And Pirates of the Caribbean 6, would you do it all over again? Nah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I would love to, because it's a bit like, well, like your last thing, going back to school after the six weeks mm. holidays, you know? You go back and you pick up where, where you left off. I'd, lo I'd love to do it. Also, I get to travel the world, which is... Fantastic. Which is quite yeah. special. And we've got to talk about Downton, your yeah. lovely wife, of course, who features in it. The film that's coming up, you were in it as well. And she didn't know anything about the fact no, that you were going furious. to be in it. She was absolutely furious. She said it was like, it was embarrassing, like, bring your husband to work. Oh. Oh. And the other thing she said was, um, I don't come and ruin Pirates of the Caribbean for you. <gasps> I don't know what she gets up to on set that she doesn't want me there. But... <laughs> <laughs> is it best behaviour all round? Oh. And are you going to be part of the movie? No, no. No. My, mine was a very contained role in, in season two and three. And but, she uh, said you couldn't be as well. She did, actually. They wrote did me in and they made her cut it out, yeah. <laughs> and another whodunit you've been involved in as well. Is it something about crime at the moment that you're into? Is the Agatha Christie, isn't it, that you just Oh, I just... Filming? Yeah, I just did one of the new Agatha Christie um, uh, Poirots with John Malkovich. How wonderful. Poirot. Yeah, it was great. I mean, I've got a very small role in it, but um, it was great. To, I'd worked with John before, and it was great to do it again. And I think he's going to be an amazing uh, Poirot. Interestingly enough, they're doing this thing where they... They have a different Poirot for every story, um, rather than having, you know, because John Suchet did it for 
for so many for years so, yeah. so brilliantly. Yeah, you're John so. David Suchet did it. Yes, exactly. And you're I said so. I've got so television busy. presenters. Yeah. On <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. Yeah. You said you've got television presenter brain. I thought that's true. Was <laughs> ITV's unforgotten. We're loving you in it. Yeah. But we're loving you in television. Fun. Can you throw to Alex with the weather? You did it so perfectly yeah. before. That's what we need to do next. And here's Alex with the weather. Oh. Fantastic. Oh. Oh.